Hey everyone, soap video. Um, today I'm going to do a drop swirl in uh, in the mold. So um, I'm gonna go over the recipe. In my bowl I have 12 ounces of 76 degree coconut oil, 14 ounces of castor oil, 10 ounces of cocoa butter, and 12 ounces of olive oil pomace. 12.25 ounces of water, and 6.65 ounces of lye. Uh, I have some fragrance. I'm gonna call this, I'm calling this black rose. So this is a combination of a rose scent and um, something called black linen. Uh, it's, it's got very floral, um, a very floral front but kind of a, a mellow, mm, a mellow and slightly spicy middle note. Um, so it's very nice. And uh, I'm gonna be using some colors. Um, I think I'm gonna do the, the majority of it black and I'm going to use uh, activated charcoal for the black color. Um, and then I'm going to be doing bubble gum and shamrock for some of the drop swirls that go into it. I'm also going to add some bentonite clay and this is just to give it kind of a, a nice slip, a sort of a silky feel to it. And then on top I'm going to do some Michael mica oil swirls there a little bit later on. So, all right, I think I'm all ready to get started. Let's go. Um, temperatures, my oils were uh, 93, my live water was 97, so I'm soaping a little bit warmer than I normally do. Okay, sorry, I like to get my lye container just full of water, so it a little bit safer. Okay, here we go. Good already. That is just the beginning of trace. I'm going to add my clay first because uh, this is a floral scent and sometimes florals accelerate. So um, I just want to get this in first. Make sure I don't have any uh, lumps. it discolors it but it it does make it a little bit darker um, as you can probably see already um, but I'm not the majority of this is going to be black and so I'm not really worried all right so I'm going to add my fragrance and just mix that in lightly Give it a little blend. Okay. I think that's good to go. And we are just at light trace, so that's perfect. All 
All right, I'm going to divide my, the majority is going to stay black, uh, but I'm going to divide some parts up here for my basically red and green. Okay. All right, I'm gonna color those in a second. I'm gonna do my black first. So this is the charcoal. And I'm gonna use a spatula for this. This charcoal is very fine powder. And uh, if you're not careful, it kinda goes everywhere. It does give a nice black color though. And you know they say charcoal is good for sort of detoxing the skin. Um, I don't know about that, but I have another charcoal bar that I've used that I like a lot. Um, it doesn't really add a texture to the soap so much. Um, I guess it does sort of have, I don't know, maybe it does have a little bit of a different kind of feel to it than, you know, a soap that doesn't have charcoal in it, but I don't think it's a big one. And that's a good, that's a lovely black color. I have some other blacks, um, black colorants. Um, I have one from... I think it's from TKB Trading, that's called Blackest Black. And that, that does give a very, a very nice black color. Um, but okay. Okay, so. All right, this is just getting poured in my mold. Um, I think this technique is I've done the holly swirl, if you've done Amy's soap challenges, um, I've done the holly swirl, which is a swirl in the pot that you then drop into um, the mold. So this is similar to that, but you don't do the in the pot swirl first. All right, so let's use some colors. I have a little bit of shamrock. This one's called Bubblegum. These are celestial colors. Um, I just got these, so I haven't really tried them all that much. Oh, and unfortunately this is really thickened up already. Oh, well, it's loosening up here a little bit. I was, going, I was hoping for a little bit of a brighter kind of green, but um, this is definitely like a dark green. Let's see how the bubble gum looks. Alright, so these are pretty thick. 
but I'm going to try to do a drop swirl anyway. Let's see how that goes. All right, I'm just trying to mix up the color so I don't have any streaks from the bottom here. Okay, so that's bubble gum. All right, so we'll see how this works. Um, I'm just kind of doing it from high up. And that's not working at all, pretty much. All right, so we're going to do a layered soap. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Well, and it was a floral, so I kind of, you know, thought it might do that. But no big deal. Um, it also looks like I got a little bit of ricing, which I didn't really see when I was mixing it, but... Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to save a little to put on the top. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do kind of a textured top. I'll just put dollops of this on here. And the green. I kind of wish I had some black left over, but Here. Or bubble gum, I should say. And um, I did choose bubble gum because I wanted a bright pink. Um, I didn't really want like a rose colored um, red, even though I'm calling it black rose. I wanted something a little more colorful. Okay. So there's that, and I'm going to do some swirling, but I'm going to put some mica oil on here first. So a lot of times I kind of do the textured top and then um, sort of add the, 
the mica swirls on almost like a paintbrush. I'm going to do this one different. I'm going to just sort of drop some mica oil kind of randomly on here. So this is black, um, and then I have another one, um, I think this one is called Coral Sparkles. Sort of separate it out here a little bit, let me mix this together a little bit first. Okay. All right, and now we'll just do some swirls here. Well, the mica is kind of getting sucked up. And this is really firm already. So, that, uh, that fragrance oil, I think, really, really firmed things up there. Well, the good thing about being so firm is you can kind of do really textured tops here. Get lots of peaks and valleys. Okay. Well, my mica got sort of eaten up, so this soap is really not what I planned at all, but I think it'll still look okay. Alright, so um, I think I'm going to add some black glitter to it, to the top, uh, to give it a little bit more oomph. And uh, that's it. Alright, so I'll add some black glitter and then uh, that'll be it for it. Um, and then it's going to go in the fridge. So after the break should be the, uh, the cutting. Thanks. Bye. Oh, wait. Thumbs all full of... Hey everyone. So this is the cutting of um, my black rose. I think I'm gonna call it Briar Rose. I think that sounds cool. So anyway, I just took it out of the fridge uh, not too long ago. Um, but it's been, it's probably been about 20 hours or so. Uh, and it feels really firm. So, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, it's cutting very nicely. Oh, I did get a little bit of a crack in the top. It's not, it's not very noticeable, but um, that's the first time that's happened, really. So, okay. Not bad, so the charcoal is on the bottom. That came out pretty nice. Um, the gelled bubble gum color is a little deeper than I thought it would be. You can see kind of the non-gelled one, and that's what I thought it would be closer to, like a real bubble gum pink, but this isn't bad. Um, and this one I think was Shamrock was the name of it, so that's a pretty, pretty cool color. And the tops. I put some glitter on. So I wasn't really trying to do a swirl. I, I, uh, I mean, I was at first, but then it got so thick, I just decided to layer it. So there is a little variation in there. It smells, it smells nice, it smells floral. Mmm, that's a good, that's a good scent. It's not, it's not overly floral. It's not like super girly. So there was some of the <laughs> swirl as I started it, but. And I'm gonna let these sit for outside for a little while and then a, a day or two, see how the colors are. So it came out pretty nice. Okay, and the last two. So again, I kind of got the gel in the middle, even though I put it in the fridge. I don't, you know, it's this mold is. I guess it's pretty big. That the the um. Silicone's pretty thick on it, so, and then I have it in cardboard to hold the sides up, so I guess that, um, I don't know, maybe I guess I should try to force gelling and put it in the the, the stove for a little while, so. Um, anyway, so, okay. Just think about that. The colors seem to mellow out after I let them sit out for a little while anyway, and that gel circle hasn't been as noticeable on some of my other ones that have done the same thing, so. Okay, so that was Briar Rose. Um, uh, comments, questions, leave them below, love to hear them, and if you like it, subscribe. So, okay, thanks very much. Check back for more soap videos, bye.